Also, when you're figuring out who you are and your identity, music can be the perfect compass. Oh my gosh. Right? Allie, I mean, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, because I was I was so confused. I was I grew up in a black neighborhood. I was light skinned. My hair was different back then. It was like bigger, like it was like more Afro-y. And so that was like my that's all I knew was like black culture, R and B, soul, funk, hip hop, like all that. Was, that's all I knew. And then I got I started, I was the only, like literally the only kid with a skateboard in my hood, like, mm -hmm. or even, even surrounding hoods. I was the only kid. And because of that, you know, it's obscure, it's odd, and people want to say and do things t towards you. And so I had to learn, um, how much do I love this, right? How much do I love this alternative shit? Because if I, if I have to l quite literally fight my right. way through it, then I better love this shit. Right. And, and so that's what I did. And then, you know, my dad being in the music he was in and the culture he's from. And then my mom is Scottish. Like she's white. <laughs> <laughs> she's white. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like real white. And so I got like ABBA and Meatloaf and, uh -huh. you know, and like, sh and, and Rod Stewart and Tom Jones. And so that was, and I loved it all. Right. I loved it all. I loved all of it. So when I started doing music, I really wanted to find this amalgam of, of all those things, you know, and, and I found my space, although, you know, a very crude representation of it, I, I found my space in like punk rock and soul mm -hmm. together. That was like my thing. Right. <laughs> 